Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, and I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on the Inglewood family gangster blood that was shot and killed on Instagram Live. And it may have been because he switched hoods, or it may have been because he disrespected the Nipsey Hussle mural. July 8th, 2021, around 4.10 in the afternoon, Hawthorne police received a call for a shooting off Chadron Ave for a man who was shot in the face. Arriving on scene at the Activist State's apartment complex, police would locate a gray Chevy in the back parking lot with multiple bullet holes in the front windshield and a dead 21-year-old man in the front seat. While it was reported he was shot multiple times, it's alleged he was shot a total of 12 times by the number of gunshots heard on video. And he was identified as Zarel Rivera, but more commonly known on social media as Indian Red, a member of the Inglewood family Gangsta Bloods. Now IFGB has been around as long as gangbanging itself, but more recently made headlines on social media when one of its members who goes by the name Capone decided to vandalize the Nipsey Hussle mural with the aftermath being posted to Worldstar and gaining damn near half a million views. Capone, huh? Go. Capone. Yeah. Wall banging Capone, okay. Alright, I bet you're gonna change your name today. Y'all need to y'all need to beat up right now before the homies mine up and and, and, and come do some dumb shit to y'all. Y'all can hop off my dick with y'all mad asses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try it. We outside, dude. <laughs> See, I ran out of handouts. I'm gonna have my hand out. Yeah. Now for anyone thinking Capone wouldn't show face, he made it clear he's outside, he ain't hiding, and fuck anybody that feels some type of way. But if you pay attention in the last clip, you can see none other than Indian Red, and Indian Red had posted the now infamous picture of Capone in front of the mural right after it was vandalized. But Indian Red wasn't always Inglewood family. Originally, he was banging Hollywood Paru out of Compton and switched hoods for whatever reason, but it's rumored he left on bad terms, leading many to believe the hit came from them, and those 12 shots were personal. Now, Capone has been very vocal on Instagram since Indian Red's death, but the post that got everyone's attention is when he wrote, I'm sick, blood. I just watched my homie die right in front of my eyes. Followed by another post saying, If any of the media pages post my homie on live, report it on IFG. People are taking these posts as meaning one of two things. Indian Red was on live when he was shot, and a screen recorded video of him struggling to speak as he gasped for air has made its way through social media with people allegedly trying to sell his death video. The video itself is short, showing Indian Red smiling on live with another man before he looks up and gunshots start going off. You can see his face tense up as the first bullet strikes him as all 12 shots are fired. The man he's on live with says what the fuck as Indian Red looks up at the camera with blood on his face, struggling to speak as he mouths what appears to be help. The man he's on live with asks where you at and Indian Red barely says I'm in Hawthorne. You can tell he must have been struck in his lung as he can barely get enough wind to form words as he struggles to breathe before dropping the phone as he continues to gasp for air. With Capone's post, people are alleged Capone may have been present in the vehicle, but to me, it sounds like Capone was reacting to the video as he watched it with his own eyes. Police haven't reported anyone else as being present in the vehicle, and the shooting itself was reportedly a walk-up meaning whoever did it walked right up on the car before firing, and if two people were inside, you can almost guarantee both of them would have been shot, and both of them would have been on the Instagram Live. But there's a chance Indian Red was get back for the Nipsey Hussle mural, and his death has nothing to do with his old hood, but one of the hoods has sought revenge, and as much as I'm sure they wanted to get Capone, they ended up getting him. What adds a whole new twist is the fact that Indian Red's brother took to Instagram with a few back-to-back -back story posts alleging his brother was set up by a female and three men. Hey, yo, 
And that bitch that set him up. I know that had to be the situation. That bitch and them three niggas. Y'all niggas is some hoes. For real. Hoes. <laughs> I ain't finna say nothing though. Shit, you know, niggas do, don't do shit right. Niggas turn federal, so. I'm gonna stand my ass up off of here. So, niggas don't try and come and have the police on my fucking case. Whichever way it goes, this is nothing but a prime example of a continuing cycle of violence and only adds heat to the summer in Los Angeles County. Now I was gonna pop this off with the regular don't be going on Instagram live showing your location, but if you watch the video, it doesn't seem like he showed his location because he had to tell his homie I'm in Hawthorne and he can barely get the words out. Meaning, either he was set up like the brother said or someone got the drop on him. It's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not posting the video, obviously, I'm sure. There's ways y'all can go find it if you want to find it. And watching it, you see how fast somebody goes from smiling and hanging out to dying. And it's on camera, you know what I'm saying? People use that video to diss and, you know, people like myself use that video to see the reality of what things are. There's nothing beautiful about death. There's nothing pretty about it. There's nothing to glamorize. And if you try to imagine how it feels hanging out, seeing someone, and then getting shot 12 times, you can't breathe, you can't make out words, the fear that's got to be going through your body. People say, oh, adrenaline, you don't feel nothing when you get shot. You can tell by the way he tensed up when he first got hit. He felt every single bullet that entered his body. But this is gang banging at its finest. This is what it is and this is what comes with it. So no one can really be surprised about it. No one can really shed tears as to why this happened to this innocent man because at the same time, he was one of the men disrespecting the Nipsey Hussle mural. That's gang banging. That's not violation to go cross his shit out. They were happy he got killed. And there's a video, just like there's a video of him, there's a video of Nip getting shot down and his head stomped on in a fucking parking lot. This is gangbanging. This is what comes with it. There's no surprises. This is the expectation. You either kill like a gangster or die like a gangster, but either way it goes, it all ends the same fucking way. All I can say is karma is full circle, and what you put out, you're gonna get back. And in some cases, like Nipsey Hussle, it's not even about what you put out. It's just about what you're around. And if you're around certain people, certain things can happen. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time.